jazz walk, we're gonna move from side to side. Let's go over to the side. A jazz walk is a fancy walk that happens a little bit on the tips of your toes. So pretend like that you have on a pair of your mom's small high-heeled shoes. We're gonna add a little shoulder, a little rib, and a little hip. Remember when we did our shoulder isolations, rib isolations, and hip isolations. Putting those three together helps us practice our sassy Broadway jazz walks. First things first, face your audience, your box from shoulder to shoulder and hip to hip should be a perfect square that always faces the front with a smile. Let's put both of our hands on our hips and practice just our feet first. We're gonna step to the side, drag your toe just a little bit on the ground before you cross it in front. Step to the side, little drag, cross front. Step to the side, little drag, cross front. We're gonna repeat that walk across in the same direction for as far as you have. I have about three or four steps across my room. Let's give it a try. There's three important parts. Sideways, drag, then cross. Here we go. Five, six, ready, and side, drag, cross, side, drag, cross, side, drag, cross. Good job, dancers. Let's try that basic step going the opposite direction. Here we go. Side, drag, cross. Side, drag, cross. Side, drag, cross. Now it's time to add in a little bit of our style for the jazz walk. The first stylistic thing we're going to do is leave one hand on our hip and our same drag hand is reaching down. So if I'm walking to the right, my left hand is down. I'm gonna have some fancy fingers as if I was showing off a beautiful manicure. Let's bend our knees. Our next stylish move that we're going to do is we're gonna add our hip into the first step. So when I do my first step, I'm going to stick my hip out in the same direction that I'm going. So I have my hands, and my hip, it's going to look like this. Hip drag cross, hip drag cross. The last and third stylistic move that we're going to add to the jazz walk is our shoulder. So your hip, shoulder, and hand are all showing off those Broadway moves. Step side with your hip, also put your shoulder front, and cross. Hip side, shoulder, and cross. Hip side, shoulder, and cross. Other side, I'm walking left. My left hand's on my hip. My opposite hand is showing off my manicure. Hip and cross. Hip and cross. Hip, shoulder, and step. I love a good jazz walk. So find your favorite song. Make sure that you find the beat or speed it up, or go double time, and then you can dance and show off your moves to the music. Let's try it one last time. Ready, here we go. Jazz runs are one of the most challenging moves that you can do in a jazz class, but it's also considered a beginner move. That's because we have to learn it early on in order to master it by the time we become advanced dancers. A jazz run is very different from a regular run. We're going to use a slide of our foot, a drag, and a tendu degage in order to run. Let's go for a basic run around the room. off my feet. I also have jogging arms. So here's how your arms are different in a jazz run. We're going to make blades with our hands. 
That means you glue your fingers together and you have your slicing blade arms. We're gonna make our arms super straight and we're going to run with blade arms. So do a normal run, but add in your jazz blade arms. Already, just by adding the arms, my legs feel a little different in the run. There's a little bit more of an up and down as I run. Bump, push, 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 push. So think about pushing off of one foot and onto the other. Very often in dance, we want to travel and show off how we can move across the stage. When I jog like a runner, I really just stay up and down over my feet. But in dance, we want to travel. So I'm gonna push off one leg and go as far as I can. Far, far, far. Let me show you what a jazz run looks like for real, going from side to side. Here we go. And coming to the front. I'm taking a lunge and I'm dragging my toe behind me. So take a look close up in slow motion. I'm gonna do my hands on my hips. Lunge, well, push, then lunge, then drag. Push, lunge, drag. Push, lunge, drag. Push, lunge, drag. From the back. Push, lunge, drag. Push, lunge, drag. Push, lunge, drag. Push, lunge, drag. Let's add in our arms and try it together. Here we go. I love a good jazz run dancers. Make sure you practice and that you're really using those arms and pushing yourself forwards to move through the space like a dancer. Our last beginner traveling jazz step that we're going to practice is a lunge and passe prep. In jazz dance, we want to travel across the floor. We also want to jump and we also need to be great turners. This move is going to help you get your legs nice and strong so that you can prepare to turn. Let's take a few steps back and travel forwards. I'm going to begin with my hands on my hips so that I don't confuse my arms and my legs. You're going to slide forwards into a bent knee lunge. That means my front knee is bent, my back knee is reaching towards my floor, and my back heel is up. I'm going to pick my back leg up in a passe, up, step that foot right down, lunge, passe, up, lunge, passe, up, lunge, passe, up. Now, when we add the arms, the arms are going to make an L and then a T, an L and then a T, an L and then a T. We want to make sure that we're reaching opposite arm as foot front. Opposite arm as foot front. Just like when you're walking. And that will help you to balance so that you can be a better dancer. Let's try just the arms. Front, T, step, T, opposite arm as foot, opposite arm as foot. Good job, dancers. Let's try it with the lunge and passe. We're gonna do three steps. First, passe on flat, then passe on releve, and last, add a single turn. Here we go. Five, six, lunge, passe. Down and T, down and T. Straight legs, make sure you have a strong passe. Add the releve. Lunge, 
Lunge, releve, passe. Lunge, releve, passe. Lunge, releve, passe. Lunge, releve, passe. Let's add the single turn. Make sure that you're turning towards your knee and closing arm. Here we go. Five, six, ready, and lunge, passe, releve, turn, finish. Other way, lunge, passe, releve, turn, finish. Other way, lunge, passe, releve, turn, finish. Last time, lunge, passe, releve, turn, finish. Good job, dancers. Keep practicing flat, then releve, and adding your single turn, making sure that everything is straight and in position before you practice a single turn. 